year, about 200,000 Americans get a pacemaker, a trend that's been on the rise for two decades as people in the U.S. are living longer with heart issues. Pacemaker is an electronic device which is implanted surgically in a patient's body to help his electrical system if it is failing. Dr. Subhash Chetrapal is a cardiologist with Lee Memorial Health System. He says pacemakers are commonly used to speed up or regulate a slow heart. So if anybody's heart rate during daytime is running below 40 beats per minute, that person will be a candidate for pacemaker. Anybody who's having fainting spells or dizzy spells and at the same time we find that the pulse is slow, that patient will benefit from pacemaker. For upwards of 50 years, the pacemaker has been giving people a boost. Time tested as safe and effective, the device itself has undergone transformations, shrinking in size and growing in capability. The pacemakers we currently use are called demand pacemakers, which means that the device is so smart that it is sitting and watching your own pulse or heartbeat, and if it's, the heart would stop, or slow down, the pacemaker takes over right away. Modern pacemakers also include defibrillators that can jolt a heart back into rhythm. While they don't cure underlying problems, they give the heart a helping hand. Patients are able to back, get back to normal activity. They do not black out, they're not having spells, they're able to drive, they don't feel as fatigued. By boosting the heart, the pacemaker is restoring quality of life. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.